There are a few different ways to set times for the brackets in R2 Sports. We're going to start by going to times on the top menu. And then on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, next to each day, there's a view grid icon. We're going to click on view grid next to Wednesday. And it's going to start blank. And it's going to go from 8 a.m. It's going to go all the way to 8 p.m. in one hour increments. So the first way we're going to go to divisions and draws, we're going to set times from the bracket. So I'm going to go to the men's singles open division, and I'm going to click on the view icon next to that division. And then when we pull the division up, there's going to be some yellow matches and some gray matches. Well, the gray matches are people that have buys in the first round, so we don't need to schedule a match for these. So we need to schedule a match time for all the yellow ones. And then we'll notice that there's one player here, Ryan, and if we highlight over this icon, there's a time conflict. So let's schedule this match first. We're going to click on the little round circle, and so we're going to click on that here, and I'm going to select a day, so Wednesday. Then you'll see Wednesday, since this player has a time conflict until 7, up until 7 it's color-coded in yellow. So I'm going to click on any court here I want. So I'm going to click on the third court over at 7 o'clock. And then that's going to schedule the match on Wednesday at 7. So then if I want to schedule the rest of them, say I could, I could check all the rest of these little check boxes with, that, are, that are the yellow matches remaining. And then I can click the set multiple times box, the blue box right here. When I click that, it's going to pull up all the matches that I just this checked and it's going to show the players in those matches um, and you'll notice on the right side over here this day is is now clear so I'm going to schedule it at we'll say 10 a.m. I'm going to click on the icon here on the left side and then that's going to schedule all those matches at 10 a.m. so if I would have had um, not enough courts for the number of matches I was scheduling it would have pushed the remaining courts to the next hour so if I want to continue on I can check these two boxes or I could check um, let's, let's maybe maybe do the bottom two plus this one since this one had a time conflict set multiple times and then now you'll see that it's red above here so we can't schedule these because this is the first round so we're gonna set these say at two o'clock and then we can come back here since this is the one that couldn't go till seven we can click back over here and then we'll see here that this whole day is red so we're going to change this to Thursday and then we're going to select any time we're going to just do 9 a.m. on the court one right there and then we have those set so that's one way to set the times then we can go back to on the top menu bar we can click times and then now we can go to Wednesday and click on the view grid icon and now we can see the times that we just had scheduled on that day